What's going on y'all? My name is Spice. Welcome to Spice Can't Fish. We've got another video coming at you today. It's gonna be a little bit of a different video. So, for those of y'all who have seen the first video I've ever made on my channel, um, I talked about myself a little bit, just really briefly, and one of the things that I mentioned was that I love fish. I, I, all kinds of fish, doesn't matter. I love everything. Fresh water, salt water, whatever. You name it, I love it. Now, of course, my one biggest passion in life is fishing and more importantly or I guess more specifically bass fishing. I'll do other kinds of fishing as well for sure which you guys might see some every once in a while on the channel but for the most part it's going to be bass fishing because that's what I love to do. But in the winter time when I can't really bass fish I also have another hobby. That hobby obviously also has to do with fish. Um, it, it's actually fish keeping. I don't know if you've seen it in the back of any of my videos, but uh, I've got some fish tanks around. I actually have five right now. So uh, real quick, let me just run you through. So in the five gallon on my desk, we have Marshall. He's hanging out up here by himself. I'm thinking about maybe adding a few little uh, community fish, maybe some neon tetras or something in here, but I'm not really sure. I might also wait to upgrade him to a bigger tank before that, so we'll see. But uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Then over here on the other side of my room is my 20 gallon community tank. Uh, this one's just got a bunch of, you know, just general community fish and my little friend Oreo. Hello Oreo. Oh, I'm sorry girl. Hi Oreo. Miss you. And then of course Ted as well, hanging up up there with his big old smile. Hello Ted, you little devious bastard. Next up we have a little side guppy breeding tank project which I'm not really sure if it's gonna take off or what I'm really gonna do with that, but that's there for right now. Um, we'll see what goes on with that. Then coming out to my living room area, we have two tanks out here. This is my other 20 gallons, my 20 long. This is my main guppy breeding project, I guess you'd say. Uh, these guppies are, um, uh, they're nebula steels. I think they're blue nebula steels, or maybe they're just nebula steels, but one of those two. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll, I'll pop the, the name up for you. But yeah, they're gorgeous. I'm gonna leave the lights off because they're they're doing their breeding thing. There's one female in there who's kind of doing her thing. So I don't want to stress them out too much. So I'm just gonna leave the lights off. And then the main attraction and the object of today's video is gonna be the big tank. Uh, this is my 50 gallon. In here right now I have two juvenile Oscars. This little one up here is Maui. She's my pretty baby girl. And this bigger one here is Otis, and he's my big mean Juan. But I love them both. They're my, both my pretty little babies. And then also in the tank, we have the little homie Jerry. Now Jerry, funny story behind him, I actually rescued him from a, uh, I guess you could say drying up pond. It usually doesn't dry all the way up, but it was getting really low. So me and my friend decided that we were gonna go and try and save some of the fish out of there. Um, originally the plan for this tank was going to be just a bluegill tank. We were going to catch like two or three bluegill and just put them in the tank and kind of have like a natural community bluegill tank. But um, that day we only ended up catching Jerry. So Jerry's been just hanging out here for a little bit until it gets warmer and either I put him back or I don't know. I might upgrade him. I'm definitely going to upgrade this tank at some point, but I might move him into the bigger tank when I do. So these two guys are not fully grown yet, so they don't have to be in a little bit bigger tank yet. And as long as I keep up on the water changes, there's really not that big of a deal. But as y'all can see, this tank is pretty plain. Um, I have, you know, just that background on the back, just to add a little something. And then just that one water hyacinth plant, which in case you guys are curious, those things propagate really fast. So, so if you're looking for a good plant to cover the top of your tank, this is, I would suggest that, but you gotta be careful that stuff grows really fast. So you gotta like actually take care of it and make sure it doesn't grow too fast. So yeah, so we got the background, water hyacinth, and then this pot, which I actually added kind of recently. And that's just gonna give Jerry a little bit of something to hide out in. But um, but yeah, the uh, tank is pretty, pretty bare as it is. Uh, I kind of like it that way. Uh, it gives them a lot of room to you know, swim around and stuff, but uh, I don't know, it's not super eye-catching, I guess. Like, it's cool, like the fish in there are cool, and I love them, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I'd like it to look a little nicer. So, today, I think we're gonna probably try and redo that. Um, my plan is gonna 
you know, kind of to be, I need to, well, first of all, I'm gonna get another uh, sponge filter because that first one is fine for right now, but I'm, I wanna add a second one just to, you know, get a little bit more filtration going, I guess. Uh, that one's rated for 50 gallons, so it's fine for the tank, but I think if I get two 50 gallon ones, then we'll really be cooking with fire. But, um, but yeah, so I gotta get another one of those, and then I'm thinking about maybe just doing some some substrate of some kind on the pole. And so we're gonna do some substrate, and I don't know, maybe I'll get like some rocks or some wood or something, but I wanna leave the main area of the tank open, so whether that be that side or this side, I don't really know yet, but um, I wanna leave the main area of the tank open so they still have some room to swim around and kinda do their thing, but um, I also want to, you know, add a little bit more so it doesn't just look like, you know, a bare empty tank, so. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna go run to the store, we're gonna go try and grab some stuff, and uh, we'll see what goes on. I'll catch you on the way. Alright y'all, so I got about, I don't know, 20 minnows here. We're just gonna do a real quick feeding of these guys. Uh, I don't feed them live minnows a lot, but every once in a while, well, just to give them a little bit of exercise so they can chase some stuff around like they would in the wild. So, got me a little net right here. Just gonna pour them out into a bucket. Pour them out into a bucket real quick. God damn it, Kyle. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so I got a net right here. I'm just gonna dump them in real quick. Into a bucket. Usually I'd water acclimate a fish if I'm gonna put them in a tank, but they're feeder fish, so I don't really care that much. Oh shoot, one of them got out. Ah! Fish on the ground. Oh god. Oh, he's so slippery. Come here, little man. I got you. Now go to your death. All right, here we go. Let's see if anybody wants any. Hey guys, food? Maui, what you got in your mouth there? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I feel so bad for that little one. Oh. Alright y'all, so it's been a few days and I think we're finally ready to redo the 50 gallon. 
So, uh, over here I have those two big pieces of wood that we bought from the store. They've been soaking in some warm water. I've been just soaking them and, you know, cycling the water out to get all those tannins out. So, as you can see, the water is pretty clear in both of these. So, I think we're good to go there. Um, I haven't done anything with the substrate yet, but we'll get to that. And uh, I haven't done anything with these rocks either, but we'll get to that. So, uh, yeah, real quick, we'll just take one last look at the tank. Again, it's just got that one plant in it and the pot as well, but it's all bare bottom. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So there's a lot of different ways that you can wash out your substrate. The way that I usually do it is I'll just take this big old bag. Smarter to do this with two goes. But yeah, so I'll fill this up and then I'll take the shower and I'll just. fill that bucket up with some warm water. Alright, so I don't know if y'all can see into this bucket, but if you can. You'll see that this water in here is all brown and nasty looking. And you don't want this in your aquarium, obviously. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my little neck here. I'm just gonna start picking up netfuls of this sediment. I'll give it a little shake in here to get all that extra stuff out. Put it in this book. And I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over again until this bucket's filled with all the sediment and this bucket just has water in it. And now, the reason that I chose these rocks in particular, besides the fact that they look natural and they're gonna give like a good, you know, natural rock bottom look to the tank, but more importantly, if y'all can see, these are actually some pretty decent sized rocks. And that makes it easier to get in the net. And also makes it a lot easier to clean. So, so if you're like debating between whether to use rock or sand, um, maybe take that into consideration. This is a little bit easier to get clean. And it's also a little bit easier to maintain clean in your tank. And then you do it again. So I'm just gonna probably watch this a few more times and pretty much just repeat this process over and over again, but I'll catch up with y'all once I'm done with this and we're ready to put it in the tank. All right. Ooh, sneak peek at that. Shh. That's coming your way soon. But back to this big tank. All right, done washing the gravel. Now we gotta take the fish out of the tank, put them in a small bucket so that they don't get hurt or messed up or anything while I'm messing with their tank. Then we can get to the fun stuff.
75 percent so right now i'm just going to take these rocks out of this bucket and i'm going to put them in before i put them in the tank i'm going to just take them and wash them in this one more bucket of clean water just to make sure i get any of the last bits of dirt out stuff around. Uh, I'll use like a strainer or just like a small bucket. Today I'm going to try using this frisbee. I think it should work just fine. So I'm just going to take that and just flop around down in there. And now we'll start filling the tank up. Oh, 
I've never had a fish jump like that before. My heart is racing. Alright, let's keep going. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, as you can see, the fish really seem to be liking their new home. I think personally, it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it should give them a little bit more cover to hang out in, make them feel a little bit more comfortable while still giving them enough room to swim around and grow and do their thing, so. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know how you guys like the tank. Y'all think I should do something to it and make it a little bit better? You guys think it's perfect just the way it is? Let me know. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see some more awesome content like this. I really appreciate you clicking on the video and giving it a watch, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. <laughs>